Did you know that according to a 2014 article by bowsandties.com, only 1% of men know how to tie their own bow tie? My name is Alexander Haynes, and I've been tying bow ties for the past couple of years, which makes me a credible source on the topic. Today, I will be not only demonstrating how to tie a bow tie, but I'll also be sharing some information on things that you should avoid and some things that you will need in order to be successful when tying a bow tie. Now, in order to tie a bow tie, you're going to need a few things. First, and most importantly, you are going to need a bow tie. Second, you will need the collared shirt that you are going to wear with the bow tie. It is important to avoid using a tie and shirt combination that clash or don't go well together. Finally, you will likely need to have some patience. This process can be difficult, but will come with practice. Tying a bow tie is considered to be a unique and authentic skill that sets you apart from people that don't know how to tie their own bow tie or use clip-on ties. According to an undated article from TrendHim.com, bow ties originated in the 17th century from Croatian mercenaries and were later adopted by the French elite. After many different years and style changes, we are now left with the bow tie that we have today. Hopefully, after watching this video, you can join the 1% of people in history that can tie their own bow tie. Now with that out of the way, let's get started. Now the first step in tying your bow tie is going to be putting on the collared shirt that you want to wear. Next, you will want to flip the collar up like so. And it's important to remember before you start that if your hands are a little bit too dry or they're cut, you can actually cut the fibers on the bow tie and reduce the lifespan. So just make sure your hands aren't too dry or you know, anything's gonna scrape them up. Next, you're going to want to size your bow tie. Some bow ties are adjustable and that's when you would size it. Some aren't and so you don't have to worry about this step. My neck size for my shirt is 16 and a half inches, so I have adjusted mine to the 16 and a half inch mark. Next, you are going to want to take your bow tie and put it around your neck like so, and adjust the end of the tab so that it's right in line with the middle of the curve on the other side, which is the longer side. Next, you're going to want to cross the bow tie over the shorter side and feed the longer side up through that sort of cross that you just made. And now, you just put it off to the side for a short second. Next, you're gonna take the shorter side and cross it over by folding it in the middle of this curve and putting it right on top of your top button, like so. After that, you will take the longer side, place it over right in the middle, like this. Now, if you've done this correctly, you'll actually find that there's a loop in the back. That loop is where you're gonna put the other side of the bow tie once you fold it. If you look carefully, there are two types of sides on the bow tie. There's this loop right here and a tab right here. You're going to wanna to put the bow tie in so that there's one loop and one tab on each side. So I'm gonna take this side, fold it over in the middle, just like I did on the shorter side, and feed it through that loop. After you have fed the last remaining side through the loop in the back of the bow tie, we're ready to adjust. It should look something like this at the moment, which is pretty messy, but that's what we're going for. The next step and the final step will be to adjust. So we're going to pull on the loops on each bow tie very gently. One thing you need to be careful of is pulling the tabs too much on their sides or pulling the loop so much that the tabs come out the other side. This part is pretty similar to tying a shoelace, and so you just don't want to pull on the loop too much, otherwise it comes out. So we're just going to pull on the loop, and it's tightening up a little bit, but it's also pulling these tabs out, so be very careful. And then you can just pull the tabs right back in. So we're just gonna keep doing this until we're done. Pulling and adjusting. Pulling, readjusting the tabs. While I'm adjusting this bow tie, I think it's really important to mention how great of a skill tying a bow tie is to have. According to a Business Insider article from 2016, if you're going to wear a bow tie, it simply needs to be one that you've tied yourself because the pre-tied bow ties are just a little too studied. And now we have a bow tie. So we can fold the collar of our shirt down. Once you have tied your bow tie and folded your collar down, you can throw on your jacket. Wow, look how good you look. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Just to recap, I demonstrated how to tie a bow tie, 
and told you about a few things that you should avoid doing and a few things that you will need in order to be successful. Now remember, when your outfit is the talk of your next event, just remember that you were the one that tied your bow tie. Thank you.